Hey everybody, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Hey, if you're about my age, I'm not gonna say exactly how old that is, sometimes you wish you could go back in time. Well today, that's exactly what we're doing. We're going back to high school chemistry to clean this. so today as I said we are cleaning brick or we're demortaring if that's a term we're demortaring brick I don't know if you can tell or not this brick is not gunked up with thick pieces of mortar but it has mortar all over it and we can try to scrub that off and you know we can do all kinds of things but it's really tedious and we've got a couple of thousand so we need to figure out a way to do this efficiently and the best way to do that is with muriatic acid which is a form of hydrochloric acid in case you're not familiar with that muriatic acid is used in the masonry industry all the time because it's it's a really powerful chemical but it's reasonably safe for homeowners for DIYers we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna get out into the open and I'm gonna show you how we're doing it but uh, we've just got a few basic components here. One, we've got the muriatic acid. I've got plenty of water on hand. I've got some baking soda. You don't have to have a box this big. Just a box of baking soda, and this will help neutralize this acid like that when we put it on it, if we need to do that. And we will at the end of the process, that and water. And I'm keeping a bottle of uh, dishwashing detergent on hand so that way when I wash my hands or if I splash this stuff on me, which can be kind of caustic, I want to have this handy so I can wash my hands in this and it'll counteract that acid. The, the idea is just to be really safe, really conscious of what we're doing because we are dealing with hydrochloric acid. So you don't want to get this in your eyes. You want to avoid getting, on, getting it on your skin you want to avoid getting it on your clothes. So we want to keep it contained, and then we want to dispose of it in an environmentally friendly fashion. So, bam, with all that, the process is actually pretty easy. So, let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go, out into the yard we go. All right, so we're out here in the open area, and I am going to put on some protective gloves, I don't have some safety glasses, but I do have my readers, which I have to have anyway. I probably should have some sort of a mask on because you really don't want to be breathing the fumes from this in. It's pretty well ventilated. It's a little windy out here right now, so I'm not going to do that. However, let me stress again before I get going on this, uh, this is acid. So I want you to be really careful. Uh, it's kind of my disclaimer, even though I'm not being as careful as I could be, I am being cautious. So just a word of caution before you do this, you're dealing with hydrochloric acid, so be careful about it. If you get it on your skin, stop what you're doing and wash it immediately with a lot of water, some soap if you got it. Uh, as I said, I'm keeping some water handy, keeping some, keeping some dishwashing detergent, also, we've got some baking soda here, so we should be good to go in case this gets on my skin. If you get it in your eyes, definitely start flushing them, and you probably want to go ahead and uh, go see the doctor right away. All right, with that, let's get to going. As I said, it's kind of windy out here, so instead of me trying to talk and having to fight with the wind on the microphone, I'm probably just going to do this, and then you'll hear my voice. Uh, we'll put that in later, okay? All right, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with just a general plastic tub. I've got a paintbrush that I've cut the ends off of. That's just to make it a little more stiff. We've got our brick and we're gonna clean it in this tub. And we've got muriatic acid that I just got at Home Depot. Got a whole gallon, which we won't use. We're gonna pour the muriatic acid um, a little bit, maybe a couple of inches worth into the tub. Now this is just my process. You probably don't need this much. Um, I'm probably using way more than I need to. 
but then once we get it in there, and we're gonna do this very carefully, put the brick in there and you'll instantly see it start to fizz and bubble. Now that is the acidic muratic acid beginning to interact with the alkaline content of the mortar. Now I'm using the brush to kind of dip a little bit of this muratic acid up on the top and I'm just lightly scrubbing it off. Again, be very careful about this because if this acid gets on your skin, it will burn. If it gets in your eyes, it can be very damaging. So be very careful as you do this, but just lightly scrub it. Some areas may be tougher than others. As you can see, it, it doesn't really take a lot of effort here. Uh, and I'm just gonna continue to turn this thing over from side to side to side. We're gonna scrub, scrub, scrub on it. And again, you can see some of the more stubborn areas, some of the really thick areas of mortar. I'm guessing they may require a little more time because that's not really coming off with a paintbrush like I want it to. So I'm going to get a scraper and I'm just going to use it to scrape off some of these thick areas. Now that is working like a charm. And then once we get that stuff off, then I can go back with the brush and we can start scrubbing again. But wow, that is coming off. And I don't know if you can tell this or not, but it looks like just clumps of sand, which is essentially what, what this is. It's a very, uh, the mortar is just a very sandy mixture. Here we are, we're going back over everything one last time with the brush. This brick already looks like brand new, doesn't it? That's pretty amazing. And uh, this whole process has been almost real time. Uh, it's been really quick and I'm spending a lot more time on it than you probably normally would. But boy, it is really coming together. Now we're gonna clean our brick and I'm just gonna rinse it off with a little of our water. Uh, just pouring some water on it, rinsing the acid off of the surface of the brick so it's safe to touch it with my bare hands. And once I get this done, I'm just gonna set it to the side and let it dry. And then we will address the remaining muratic acid here in our tub. I'm gonna start by putting some baking soda in there. Now, the baking soda reacts very aggressively, as you can see, with the acid, which even though a chemical reaction has taken place, um, the muratic acid is still very acidic. And the baking soda is causing further chemical reaction with this and making it even less acidic. Now we're also going to pour a little water in here also that's gonna further dilute the acid and it's gonna make it even safer for us to uh, dispose of. Now, and once I pour the water in there, is it still acidic? Let's see. Ah, yes, it is. And we're gonna continue to do this until this process slows down and then we will be able to safely dispose of it. All right, so just a few minutes and this is dry. You can see how beautiful this looks. And this is what this brick used to look like just a few minutes ago. So some people, as I said, will brush on the muratic acid and let it sit, and that's fine. I just thought it was a little more efficient just to dunk the brick in it. Um, anyway, this technique seemed to work, and now we've got a beautiful looking brick um, with still um, a distressed look, but with all that junk going off of it. And so a uh, really easy, really inexpensive or affordable solution. And uh, this worked like a charm. All right, that was uh, actually a very interesting little experiment. I don't have a whole lot of experience with this, but I'm really, really happy with the way that turned out. From this to this, wow. Uh, I'm glad we got to do that together, and I hope you learned a little something from it. 
If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you have any suggestions, since I'm kind of a novice with all this, I would love to hear them. So definitely let me know. Um, leave your comments. If you like this video, then please like it. Give us a thumbs up um, and uh, join us uh, here on our channel. Subscribe to our channel. We're doing stuff like this all the time. So we would love to have you. Hey, thank you again so much for being here. I hope you have a good day. See you next time.